Hey everyone, Kaylee here. So for today's tutorial, we have this really versatile hairstyle. You can wear it in a ponytail or a bun, and you can wear it for anything from every day with just like a sweatshirt and jeans to a more formal occasion like prom, homecoming, or even a wedding. And it's pretty easy to do. We're gonna start off by making a bump, and you're gonna start off by brushing your hair on top of your head straight back, and then sectioning off the hair from your temples back on either side. Then that's gonna be our section that we're creating the bump with. So you're gonna go ahead and take that hair out and flip it over so it's all in your face. Then take small sections and just give a little bit of teasing to each section. You can do bigger or smaller just depending on your taste. And then once you have that done, you're going to throw everything back and then smooth it out so that you don't see any of the teasing from the top. Then you're gonna gather it together in the back and use some bobby pins to go ahead and secure it in place. And now we're gonna move on to the braids. The braids are made from small sections of hair that are taken about an inch to two inches behind your ear. Now you can do this with very small braids and create little micro braids, or you can go a little bigger. Just make sure to take your section accordingly, whether you want large or small. I decided to also add in a one clip extension weft to add some highlight to this area because it's a little bit darker and I was afraid it wouldn't show up as much as I wanted it to. I have a DIY on this, although the weft that I'm using today is from my Bellamy Bellissima set. Anyway, once you have your section, you're just going to braid the hair all the way down, and once you've reached the end, you can secure it with a clip, a bobby pin, or an elastic, just depending on your preference. Then you do the same thing on the other side, so take your section from an inch or two behind your ear, clip in your weft if you want to use one, and then braid all the way down. Again, you really don't have to use a weft for this, it's just something that I chose to do to add a little bit of highlight into my hair. Then all you have to do is pin them, and to do that you just cross one braid over your head and pin it on the other side using one or two bobby pins to hold it in place, and then do the same thing with the other braid. You could also use a snap clip if you feel that would be easier. And now for the ponytail. First we have to hide all the pins that we've done. So take all the hair from over your ears and sweep it straight back, then sweep it over the bobby pins in the back and pin it in place, and you can see that it covers everything nicely. Then do the same thing on the other side. You can always comb it if you find that adds more smoothness to the hair. And of course, pin it in place again. Then you're just gonna collect everything together into a ponytail, either right on top of or right below the bobby pins, and secure it with an elastic. Then if you want to leave it as just a ponytail, you can always wrap the hair around the base and pin it into the base for an extra little effect. And that's it if you want to just do the ponytail version of this hairstyle. Now if you want to go on and do the bun, it's really easy. The way I did it was to split my hair in half and then braid each section. Then once each side was braided, I pulled it apart really big so that it was super voluminous and then you'll see how I wrap them together. But you could always do this with like a normal ballerina style bun or your favorite messy bun of choice. You could get as creative with this bun as you want because it will look up with a lot of things. This is just what I ended up doing. So you can see here I'm braiding that second half of the hair and then securing it with a little elastic and pulling it apart to make it extra voluminous. Then I'm going to wrap the first one right around the base of the ponytail. So you can see it's just creating that first little donut right there around the elastic. And then I'm going to pin that in place. I used about three to four bobby pins to hold that in place. You just use as many as you need to make it feel secure. Then you're gonna wrap the other braid right around the outside of that first one. So you can see it adds some more volume and some more messiness and a little bit of height to the bun I think as well. So you're just gonna go around and pin it all in, then of course pin down any flyaways that you have as well, and you're all done. I love this hairstyle, especially with the bun. I think it's great for a formal event or even just like a casual day where you wanna have amazing hair. So anyway guys, I hope you love this and I'll see you in my next video. Love you very much, mwah, bye.